Yeah, for her and everyone else, I think, Amy. Amy and Juan, a homeowner here, just came home and told us that when he was getting ready for work early this morning, his motion sensor went off. And when he looked outside, well, there was a mountain lion here on this street. No word of any more sightings so far, but you can bet residents here are on alert. The last sighting of Simi Valley's elusive mountain lion was around 1 this morning. This video shows the big cat prowling Bluebird Circle. It strolled down streets, walked along front yards, then jumped over a wall. It was scary for sure because it was a big animal. Paige Rodnunski was home alone when her dog started barking at the back sliding door, where she saw the mountain lion curled up right against the glass. It was purring and hissing at my dogs, and it was, it was honestly pretty calm just wanting to get to them. Police arrived, but the animal took off before they could do anything. The sightings have all happened in the same neighborhood where this schnauzer was killed by a mountain lion early Thursday morning and where this Havanese was attacked and injured during its walk Wednesday night. The Department of Fish and Wildlife says the big cat's tracking collar isn't working, so until they get the animal, they won't know which cat it is or where it came from. What they do know is that it's here because it's hungry and finding a food source. And when the protected animal appears again, police will be able to use non-lethal beanbag shotgun rounds to haze the animal back out of the neighborhood. Another option is that if one of our wildlife officers is present, that they may be able to use a tranquilizing dart and then move the animal a little bit farther away into what we call the nearest suitable habitat. If they capture it, I think they just need to move it further back into the hills. And it's just, you know, being alert. We have motion detectors, so we're leaving those on um, with the lights. And we do have cameras, but um, just keeping aware. Fish and wildlife officials say for the time being, it's a good idea to keep your pets indoors 24 hours a day. They also tell us there's a good chance this mountain lion might be P35 from the Santa Susana Mountains. But of course, they won't know for sure until they get the animal in hand. Reporting live in Simi Valley, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. Rachel.